Again, you can't just say it all began back in 1832. It's very boring if you just do it. It needs, uh, and then one needs a theme and a point. And the point was, I wanted to talk about the multiple embarrassments of the uh, left-wing bourgeoisie. Right. Uh, the awkwardness uh, of being constantly attacked. But to what my family had been radicals all the way through. Grandfather, my great grandmother, was a countess. And the kind of way your grandfather left, it was a, it was a reader's treasure of Greek. My grandfather, who was a famous historian, also a professor. Um, my father, who was a, a writer and had been a communist and ended up founding a catastrophic agricultural commune, which was a good idea. I would not that. But it was his way of dealing with his middle class guilt. And all of them were kind of, you know, they, maybe had servants, maybe had a business, they had good professional salaries, mega wealth, but, you know, it's one professional families, all of the rest sold all their lives in with varying degrees of ridiculousness. With, like, to, to, I stop, can I stop you there? Because in a way, I want to defend your family because they are the most extraordinarily talented. Um, you, you come from extraordinarily talented lineage. I mean, I don't know how many Oxford, Cambridge professors, and I think it was your grandfather, or a great grandfather, who wrote a 12 volume history of the world that, that got him on the front of Time magazine. And that was before America dominated all our culture. I mean, interesting, you all come to this, and then it's rightly been forgotten, which is the mother of her silver. But, you know, is it fair to say, I can see they were still in embarrassment, but we'll, we'll come on to the very good reasons why. But did, was there not also a sense of their achievement and the, uh, specialness? Oh, yes, indeed. And she's very dorsy if you grow up in a family like that. And, how are you ever going to match that? And my education was a disaster. I kept thrown away every uh, educational opportunity I got after I kept baby exams. Um, but if you're middle class, you know, you get chance after chance. If you're working class, if you're lucky, you get one chance. And then you've had it. If you didn't ask those exams, that's it. You've done for. Um, so I was always very aware of my privilege. And maybe it was because I felt privilege that I was able to be so ca- 